Is silicon dioxide harmful? Have you ever wondered about the safety of silicon dioxide? This compound, known scientifically as CO2, is everywhere in our daily lives. It is found in quartz, sand, and many minerals. In chemistry, we refer to it as silicon dioxide, where silicon is the main element and dioxide indicates that there are two oxygen atoms bonded to each silicon atom. Now let's talk about its safety profile. Silicon dioxide comes into main forms, crystalline and amorphous. Crystalline silica, like quartz, can be harmful when inhaled as fine dust. This exposure is linked to serious lung conditions such as silicosis and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. On the other hand, amorphous silicon dioxide, which is often used in food additives and pharmaceuticals, is generally recognized as safe when consumed in regulated amounts. Silicon dioxide is chemically stable under normal conditions, which makes it useful in many applications. It acts as an anti-caking agent in powdered foods and a stabilizer in dietary supplements. It is also a key ingredient in glass and ceramics. The strong bonds between silicon and oxygen in CO to make it resistant to breakdown in the digestive system. While bulk amorphous silicon dioxide is considered non-toxic, there are some concerns regarding nanoparticle-sized silica. This form is sometimes found in food and cosmetics, but we still lack comprehensive long-term safety data on it. Some laboratory studies suggest that high doses of nanoparticles might affect organ tissues, but these findings have not been consistently replicated in humans. Regulatory bodies like the Food and Drug Administration and the European Food Safety Authority approve food-grade silicon dioxide within specific limits, highlighting its low absorption and excretion through urine. In the context of chemistry education, silicon dioxide is a great example for teaching about covalent network structures. It helps illustrate how the arrangement of atoms can influence physical properties, such as its high melting point and hardness. When discussing its safety, it is important to differentiate between industrial exposure which can pose inhalation hazards, and its controlled use in consumer products. For everyday applications, silicon dioxide in food and supplements is safe when consumed as directed. Its role in chemistry education reinforces essential principles of material science, showing how the from and particle size can affect both utility and safety. So, while silicon dioxide has its risks in certain forms, it is largely safe for everyday use in regulated amounts.